Any plans on ever making a holster for the FNX 45? No, man. Sorry, Joey. I have an FNX 45. I have the FMP 45 Tactical, the original one where it came in the Eagle bag. I don't have a holster for it, man. I have it. Next time I do a Facebook Live, I'm going to show it, man. It's, I don't have the RMR, though, so it kind of looks kind of funky because I have the base plate, but it doesn't. it's not on there. I have an RMR on on, on a on a MMP that I should take off and put it on that on that on that FMP. It's an awesome gun, man. You know, it's it's in flat dark earth and uh, it's a great gun. It's got tall suppressor size threaded barrel, um, and uh, it came in that really cool eagle bag. But I don't have a holster for it, man. So I hear you. I, I get it. Uh, but the thing is, is that we make holsters for concealed carry. And I don't think that a lot of people are going to go out there and buy an FMP holster. Number one, they sell, but they don't sell a whole lot, especially for concealed carry. So that's one of the reasons that we kind of set it aside. Will we ever make one? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, as for now, it's it's not going to happen for a while, man. Does your torsion inside the waistband holster accommodate threaded barrels with thread protectors, suppressor height? Yes, it does. Yes. Now, so these thread protectors, uh, I think agency makes a really massive thread protector. It looks like just looks like a nut, you know, like just like a like a five eighths nut, like it's huge, right? So you know, call us, man. Uh, shoot us an email or just email Z again at tech t c h at bravoconsumer dot com, and he'll kind of give you an idea of the diameter of the threaded barrel opening right there, and he'll let you know if the thread protector is going to fit or not. But your standard thread protectors, yes, man, that shouldn't be an issue at all. We took that in cons into consideration when we were when we were measuring.